hello hi guys uh today we'll be looking at um application of define definite uh integrals so uh actually we're just talking about integrals right uh on how to evaluate uh defines uh definite integral so um integral it's basically uh the reverse of uh derivatives no? uh, so for an example if you are having uh, this is your equation to say integrate f of x and then you have an interval of a up to b so um, this uh, integral its answer is going to be uh, this one so but then uh, in this case uh, we need uh, to add uh, c to show that this answer or actually this is uh, an, an, an integral you need to show by the constant number so what is happening here is says that um you're going to uh, after uh, after integrating this part you're going to apply the value of a and b so that means uh in this case you're going to have um you're going to substitute to say uh, g of uh g of b uh, minus g of a now so this is going to be g of a and then you can add your c so uh actually the c you have to add it here to show that uh, this is constant is for uh derivatives right so uh let's uh let's just uh, make a quick example now uh, on how you can calculate uh, let's say you have this uh number say q okay let's say i have x d over three okay so uh find out that you're having uh, a, a, a sum like this and then they say uh integrate uh, this sum so you can just take this dx and put it uh this side is still the same thing and then you have x over uh this whole number is then uh the same thing but then now uh what what, what you're going to do when you integrate um and you know when you integrate uh parts like this you need to separate the numbers right so uh in this case you can uh just let u be equals to everything inside the square root um or, or radical sign we can say this is equals to one minus x squared right so in this case now uh you need to derive u in terms of x so uh, when you derive u in terms of x the derivative of a constant number is always zero and then derivative of this number is going to be minus 2x right so then uh now you can just a uh, sub uh you can make what dx subject of the formula so that you have uh, this equation be simplified so then uh, to make dx subject of the formula that means you're going to have du over uh, minus 2x um, equals to dx like this no? so then uh, now you're going to substitute this dx uh, onto this one or it's still the same you say that this one is still the same even if you can just shift it and put it here so now your equation will be uh, something like this you can have what x over um three uh, uh yeah three then now we say that this is equals to u you can put that u and then now for dx has been substituted by what by uh, du over uh, minus two uh, x right so now uh, uh when you when you sub uh, when you substitute uh this equation now you're having du so that means now you are no longer integrating in terms of x but then you are integrating now in terms of u so this one uh this x will cancel this one and then uh you remain with one over uh two and then uh this minus two we put it outside there um we're going to put this one outside there so i'm not going to do all uh, like the basic integration uh, stuff so the basic integration is on 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 n4
I, I, I believe that I have done uh, a video uh, of integration, uh, I think, a year or two years um, ago. So if you want uh, the basical stuff or, or on standard, deriva uh, standard derivative and standard integrations, you can check uh, those videos. But now, um, to simplify, again, we can take our constant number and put it outside, which is 1, which is minus 2, uh, 1 over minus 2. Uh, of, uh, then we have the integral sign 1 to the power 2, like this. And then and now, you're going to have 1 over the root of, what, of u du, like this. And then from here, you can just uh, remove it, your, your, this, you can remove um, this uh, integral, sorry, this fraction. So to remove the fraction, that means you're going to have u uh, to the power 1 over uh, 3 uh, to remove this one. And then to remove this one, you're going to have what? Minus here. So then you have what? du, like this. And then from there, now we can integrate. You know, to integrate, you're going to add 1 and also minus 1 over 3 plus 1. Right, so the uh, the integration now is going to be one. This is going to be um two. Is it two over? Yes, two over three. Because we're going to multiply this one. Got three minus two, so it's going to have a positive uh, two over three. Therefore, now your answer would be one over uh two. This one over two outside. And then you can put it inside here, and then you have what uh, your your u u to the power of uh, two over three over two over three, which is this one. And then you put uh, your bracket, and then you put your intervals. You have one and two, right? So then you have to put c to show that this is your integration. So now to uh, simplify, you need to put back what e, uh, the value of u, because we are uh, integrating in terms of uh, x, not u. So we just uh, make x uh, u subject of the formula by this one, or we substituted everything inside this uh, uh, radical sign. So to make our uh, easier, what you call, or our sum, simple so that we can be able to apply the laws of integration so now uh your your, your integral would be equals to now you can have what uh, this um you can have one minus x squared all to the power uh two over three all divided by two over three and then if you're going to multiply with this one inside you're going to have one minus 1 over 2. So you can simplify uh, it, but then it's still okay, like this. And then you add your C, and then the last one is your interval, which is 2 and 1. So to apply this interval, now you're going to apply, use uh, this uh, rule I, I just wrote here. So that means now you're going to write the very same question, and then you put 2, and then you subtract, and then you put 1. So, therefore, it's going to be minus 1 over 2 into 1 minus, now you're going to start with 2 squared over, or close bracket, to the power 2 over 3. All this one to the power uh, over 2, 3, plus C. No? And then you put it in bracket, and then you subtract again. So, then you're going to have another 1 over 2 into um one minus now where you have x you put what you put one so it's going to one squared over uh sorry close bracket two over three and then two over three like this plus c so this c will cancel each other when you subtract then this c will give you your zero and then you have your answer so this is how you do you deal with that with uh, elevation of integral. So let's do a last um, example here. So let's say now you are having something like uh, pi 
uh, and then you have uh, pi over 2 and then you have e to the power uh, cos x and then you have uh, sine x dx now so uh, now if you're having uh, uh, this type of question and then they say uh, integrate now so to integrate uh, this type, type of question we're still going to do the very same method that we'll be using we can then now say the letter let u be equals to cos x so uh, people can be asking themselves why am, am i choosing cos x instead of sine so the reason is because uh when 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 i'm deriving or when yeah when i'm deriving x cos x the answer will give me what will give me a uh, sign uh, x so that we can substitute dx and sign x right so we're able to simplify now so therefore your uh, derivative here is going to be uh, dx would be equals to it's negative uh, sine x so the derivative of sine of course it's negative um, sine. so then now you can just uh, make dx subject of the formula and say du over uh, sine x equals to dx so now you take this dx and put it here so now your your your, your equation becomes what uh, pi uh, pi over 2 then is u e then we said x is equals to uh, this one which is uh, u so it's going to be u sine x which is this one then uh, multiplied by the substitution of part of dx this is going to be du over negative sine x right so that this x sine x and sine x will cancel and then we left with negative one so you can put this negative one outside this uh, outside the integral sign no? and then from here you have uh, e to the power u du and then the integral of e it's uh, of e is still what is still e and then we can say multiply by this negative sign outside is going to be minus e and then uh we then we can add what our c and put our intervals which is pi and pi over 2 then we can say it's pi and pi over 2 then from here you can substitute back and then say this is minus e then you have what pi plus c subtract again is going to be minus e uh, pi over 2 plus c and then you have your and sorry 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 so i'm um, just rushing okay here we need to substitute back a u our u we said it's what our u we said is cos x then plus c like this so then uh now uh it's going to be um when we sub when we substitute now it's going to be minus e uh cos uh pi plus c and then we subtract again it's going to be minus e um cos uh, pi over two plus c and then you subtract your answer and then and now uh when 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 you, you are punching your calculator you don't need uh you don't have to put a uh, pi like this because pi this pi or pi over two is in radians Name. so every time when you are punching your calculator you need to convert from radians to degrees so every time when you are punching a uh, pi or pi over 2 we know that pi is equals to 180 in uh, in degrees so that means you're going to punch e to the power cos 180 this one it's pi over 2 is equals to 90 so therefore it's going to be e to the power uh cos um 
90 yes and then you get your answer in this case so um i will do uh, more videos on 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 definite uh, on different integral uh, stay tuned